Oh, <laughs> hi, Stephen Knights. Welcome to Thursday. I'm just enjoying some very delicious cake. Uh, today is going to be pretty short. I just wanted to highlight some of the things that I thought were interesting. I guess you could call this Stephen Vlog News. You could call it that. That doesn't mean you should. One of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, something that arrived yesterday, but after the passing of jobs, it, I really couldn't follow it up with something as simple as this. Um, I ordered... Some of you are going, what? I ordered some uh, some uh, deck sleeves. I, I ordered 15 packs of blue. I wanted black, but they didn't have that. I get a really, really, really awesome deal for these. Now, the, the reason I wanted so many deck sleeves is because I am building a cube. And uh, those who are interested in magic probably know what I'm talking about. For those who don't understand, um, there are these uh, game types in Magic the Gathering called a draft. It's where you take um, three packs for each player. You can play with a table of up to eight people. Um, you open up the pack, you take a card, and you pass it around. Now, we've done this on the vlog before, but it has been quite a while, so um, that it's quite understandable if you uh, don't know exactly what I'm talking about. The beauty of the cube is that you get to control the draft. You choose 360 cards that go into this... It's not literally a cube, it's just a box of sleeved cards. And uh, you and up to seven other people can draft like you normally would, but you don't have to buy the packs, and you get to decide what went into it. So that was really interesting to me. And uh, to buy 15 packs of uh, the card sleeves would have been pretty expensive, but I found a dealer on eBay who uh, let me get all 15 packs for uh, 30 bucks. $30. 30 you have to excuse me, but that's a really good deal because in stores those things are uh, much more expensive than that. For the record, if anyone is interested in making their own cube and wants to find an awesome deal, I left the eBay's person's store or whatever down in the description box. So uh, I don't know how many of them he has left, but uh, it's a pretty awesome deal, so you have to get on it if you want to take advantage of it. The reason I need so many card sleeves is, well, because there are so many cards. They all need to be sleeved. It's better to have them sleeved than unsleeved. And like I said, the 360 cards in the cube, that's not counting land, and you're going to want to sleeve land as well. So I figured, eh, I probably need about five to 600 card sleeves. So 750 should suffice. Other interesting news, uh, especially for you people who are interested in Let's Plays in any way whatsoever, and even more so if you're interested in Bioshock, I've officially decided that I will do a LP of Bioshock. Um, some of you knew for the, from the other day, uh, I tried out Fraps, and in doing so, I recorded some Bioshock footage. I've been playing Bioshock, and it's a wonderful game. It's so good! I really like it! It's a little scary, but uh, it is a fun game, and it's really enjoyable. So today, I decided that I would officially do a Let's Play of it. Now, a bunch of people have been asking me about the, uh, the Portal 2 DLC that's just come out called Peer Review. It's a co-op, and it would be the perfect time to do it, right? Because me and Mal are actually going through the game, but we're not going to do it right now. We may do it. I'm not 100% sure, but if we do, it's going to be later. Uh, I don't know if you guys have taken a look at the LP schedule, but whoa -ho! That thing is loaded! Seriously, there's a lot of content on it. So the uh, peer review, as well as uh, Left 4 Dead 2, because we actually are going to revisit that and play more levels, and Bioshock will all be coming out uh, sometime in 2012. Uh, Bioshock will probably come out in either January or February. Also related to the LPs is uh, tomorrow, which is today for you guys, um, is one week left until the Donkey Kong Country LP comes out. I'm really excited for that because Donkey Kong Country was just such an awesome game. And man, we... <laughs> I don't want to say we failed terribly at it, but there are certainly moments right. where... Great. <laughs> where Mal did great, and also myself. Like, it was, there were definitely a few parts where I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this poor at this game. But uh, it is coming out a week from the time you guys are watching this video, unless you guys are watching it later, in which case it might be out. But uh, we're really excited to give it to you, and uh, I'm sure you guys are excited to watch it as well. Things for this weekend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, thing for this weekend. Uh, on Sunday, we are planning to hit up the Columbia Flea Markets because we just had so much fun last weekend going to the Charleston Flea Market and uh, also the Farmer's Market to maybe buy some fresh produce because uh, it's usually a little cheaper, maybe. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive. It really depends um, where you go. But we're hoping it'll be a little cheaper, uh, but for the most part, it is better for you. I only, I, I don't, actually, I'll go out on a limb. It is better for you, yeah, because it's locally grown. It hasn't shipped from somewhere else 
in the world, and generally it's contaminant free, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, I'm I'm not one of those health nut people that's like we have to buy locally. I'm not like that. But um, if I can get food cheaper and it can be maybe just a little bit better for me, I'm in favor. So we may not get anything, but we're definitely going to at least check it out, especially because it's near the flea market. And the last bit of news I'm going to leave you guys with is that I am writing a rap song. And you would know that if you followed me on Twitter. Um, I think maybe I said that yesterday or something. But anyway, uh, I am writing a rap song. I can't reveal the details of it, but uh, it is related to... Stephen plays. I can say that. Yeah, I'll say that. It's related to uh, to the the LP channel. So I'll just say that. Some of you guys might figure it out, and if so, I won't confirm or deny anything. But sure, you can uh, leave your speculations of what it could possibly be in the uh, the comment section below. I think my the last time I jumped into the rap scene was for I Am Earthbound um, almost five years ago. Can you believe it's been that long? It's been almost five years since I Am Earthbound came out. But anyway, yes, I am writing a rap song. I've actually completed the first draft, and I'm going back and working the lyrics and uh, tweaking it just a little bit. Oh, and on that note, um, the sub boxes on YouTube have not been working for quite a while, and it's very uh, aggravating, especially for someone who's trying to get into this industry, if you want to call it that, of, of doing YouTube full-time. And uh, to, to watch the little published thing say 0% and know that none of you got it in your sub boxes, it's killing me. So... I'm going to kindly ask, if you have a Twitter or Facebook account, it would be in my best interest if you would uh, follow and or like those things. And there's places to do that down in the description box. You don't have to, and I certainly won't push you into doing it, but I won't flood the feeds. I generally don't do that, but I will let you know when there's a new video up. So if you're interested and you haven't already been following me, you can follow me on Twitter down below, and you can like the Facebook page. Uh, also, if you, if you have both, it's better to do both because I actually release different content on different things and uh, I've also been known to release uh, bonus pictures and bonus videos on Facebook so if you got them go for it. Anyway this has already been way too long because uh, I really need to get back to my cake because I haven't finished my cake but that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching and as always let's meet back tomorrow shall we?